At the heart of everything that we do, uh, if you imagine right at the heart of it really, is what is the focus? Uh, from my perspective, the focus has to be on basically Singaporeans, right? our, our people. And when we talk about people, it is both individual as well as society. Right? It's, it's different. It's not always the same. People make up society, but the needs of individuals don't always coincide with the society uh, or the community at large. In the, same, in the same way, as individual students, there might be some things that you may not like or you may agree with or not agree with, but when you have to cater for the entire student body, there are other different considerations. Um, so it's really about the individual. So imagine uh, Singaporeans and then our society at large, right? If you imagine that. The other factor really is, I would consider is really the present and the future. So today, I know you can't read it, but never mind, huh? just, just have a sense of it. It is, you're catering to the individual, you're catering to the society, you're also catering for today and you're catering for tomorrow. So in the same way as what makes sense for an individual doesn't always make sense for society. Uh, what makes sense for society isn't always optimal for the individual. And similarly, you do need to contend with issues of sustainability. Do we, should we plan for the future? Should we worry about the future? Or do we just live for today? Now, as individuals, you can live your life as you wish. But when you have responsibilities, such as if you are concerned about your parents, you do have to worry about what happens thereafter. When eventually, when at some point, if you get married, you have children, the context of your concerns change. So in the same way for us, when I view Singapore, that's the dimensions in which I look at things, right? How it benefits individuals, society at large. How do you also reconcile the needs of today and reconcile the needs of tomorrow?